What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here and the other day Nintendo of America released their official sales figures for the month of November in the United States. So we finally get to see how well Super Mario 3D World sold for its launch and if it actually affected the sales of the Wii U and if the system is actually making a turnaround. And well, things are still a little iffy for the Wii U. Now on the one hand, the 3DS sold quite well, sold nearly 770,000 units in the month of November, bringing its lifetime sales total up to over 10 million units. Though things are looking good for the 3DS, Nintendo made a great comeback from its abysmal launch. But things weren't too hot for the Wii U. Nintendo didn't even bother to give us an actual sales figure. All they gave us was a percentage, which usually isn't a good sign, because you can have a high percentage but still have a low number. So the sales for the Wii U saw an increase of more than 340% over the previous month of October, so it is worth noting that there definitely was an increase, so that's good. But this is the time period when Nintendo should be selling the most units, because people are out buying gifts, and November houses one of the biggest shopping days of the year, Black Friday, and it still didn't sell a ton. Now as I previously stated, we don't have an official sales figure, but there is a rough estimate that it sold about 200 20,000 units, which isn't a whole lot when you compare it to what the 3DS was able to bring in. But hopefully Nintendo can keep that momentum rolling on into the coming months and build upon that sales figure. And this is just one month, and it could be the start of things, so we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out in the long run. So even though the Wii U is moving slowly, Nintendo is definitely not doomed. They're not going to be going anywhere. They're not going to be closing up shop and saying goodbye. They have a bunch of money stored up in the bank to help them get through this, plus they can ride on the coattails of the success of the 3DS. And there are people who are saying that Nintendo should just drop the Wii U altogether and release a brand new console, but no, that wouldn't be a good idea. That would just be a slap in the face to Wii U owners and push them away. Nintendo just needs to ride this baby out, rethink their strategy, release some good games, and hope for the best. I am going to stay optimistic about the Wii U, and maybe things will change in the coming months with the releases of Donkey Kong Country, Mario Kart 8, and Smash Bros, and maybe things will fare better in December, considering 3D World was only out for about 8 days in November, which by the way, only sold about 215,000 units for those 8 days. And for all we know, Nintendo can air a new Nintendo Direct this month that will showcase a batch of new Wii U games that will be releasing in 2014. We don't know, but still the Wii U is not a bad system and it does already have some great games. But that will bring us to the end of this video and go ahead and leave your comments below and tell me what you think about the future of the Wii U. But if you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. You can stay tuned for more news videos, video reviews, and that's Nintendo Crazy episodes. You can also check out the GamingPixelShow.com to follow along for some 3DS and Wii U news. But I'll talk to you later in the next video guys. Bye!